boy is it humid. I would say it's probably 8,000% humidity, but in reality, it is probably like 80 or 90% humidity outside. Like the grass is wet and it's just, it's hot. Like I'm sticky and I just walked outside. Uh, my plan for the day, because this will end up in the video of Lazy's Garage, which was yesterday, where all I did was come out, put the sway bar on the car, and basically called it a day. Um, I am going to strip the paint off of that balancer and see where the timing is at right now. Because when I put it at what, in theory, should have been 34 degrees, this car was so lazy and everybody I've talked to and everybody who's tried to help me says this motor, which every motor is different, but around 34, they say it should be happy. I don't know because when the car went its fastest, it was at 47 degrees is where <laughs> my timing light said it was. Uh, the passes we just made with the car were at... 38 is what I set the distributor at and then I set the box I believe we're pulling two degrees and then that's the other thing too is I know opinions are like assholes everybody has one let's see yeah we're pulling two degrees on the retard um and it has a colder plug in it a lot of guys were kind of telling me you know just don't pull any timing okay that's fine but at the end of the day it's not your car. It's not your motor. Uh, if I blow this up right now, that's it. We're pretty much done for this year because I'm planning on this motor to last at least <laughs> most of the way through the season, not only four times out. Because uh, I'm not ready to... I don't have a 351 in here yet. If you see one, let me know. I mean, because if it blows up like right now, that's what's going to end up in it. It's going to end up with an LS motor, but still, I don't have everything to do that either. So, either way, we can't blow this car up. So, I'm going to be conservative. If you guys want to give me a motor, I'll do whatever the hell you want. But until then, my car, my motor, I'm going to do what I feel is right. Enough of that little rant. So, yeah, we're pulling, you know, because... The plate, I'm new to the nitrous stuff for the most part. Uh, my buddy Dean, he's been running nitrous forever, and I've been around him and his cars, but he, you know, I, I've picked up what I could. But uh, he's got some serious built motors to where mine, I don't know what's inside of this thing. It could have good rods, good pistons, good crank. I have no idea. I literally, I know nothing. All I know is what I see on the outside. Is if you guys got little Shelby out there barking. Because if you guys don't know, go back and watch. We bought this car on Thanksgiving Day. Um, the kid we got it from, he was like second or third down the line from the guy who built the car. And information gets lost. So only thing I know is what I see from the outside. Had a junk intake on it, junk carb on it, but it had really good heads. Had a bunch of other really good parts as we've seen as we've went. Uh, I put the Parker intake on it. I put that guy on there, ported it a little bit, got rid of the clover in the middle because I didn't want to deal with any issues with the nitrous. So I got rid of the clover, cleaned up, you know, the runners from the up. Shelby, stop it! Um, it is not port matched to the heads because I didn't want to go crazy with that because these heads eventually are going to go on to the 351 because these are Canfield... 58 cc um they're unported but i still think they're like a 190 so i mean these heads can flow um so i want to i might not even do it myself the heads will be ported for the 351 but i think i might farm that out to somebody who is you know that's their job yeah it's gonna cost me some money but we're gonna get the most out of it so when we get to that point, uh, this intake will be for sale because we can't use it. I don't know if they make an adapter. If they do, maybe we'll try that. But if the adapter is going to cost me more than another intake, that doesn't make any friggin' sense. So we'll probably sell this intake, buy uh, 
the proper one. Either get an actual Victor Jr. for it or buy another Parker because I know I can get this for the 351. And I like the way it looks. I like uh, how big it is. But, yeah. I don't know where my ramblings going. But anyways, we need to figure out the timing. And yeah, I thank everybody for the help, but... I'm just not trying to put a hole in a piston. I don't know if, for all I know, this could be a stock short block. Could have no pistons, no rods, no nothing in it, or it could have everything in it, like I was saying. Might not even be a 306, for all I know. It could be a 5.0 with a set of head slapped on it. It doesn't have a very big cam in it, because it's, a, it's not super lopy, you know. It's only got one six rockers on it. I won't know nothing about it until we pull it apart, which isn't going to happen yet because I'm not ready to pull the car apart. I don't want to take the car out of commission, essentially. So, yeah. First item of business for me is to strip that balancer. It's hotter than balls right now. I feel hot. So, yeah, I'm going to strip that balancer, figure out what the timing is. Uh, probably, possibly, I think I might put the 150 jets in it. Uh, I don't know what I just said. 150 jets? Yeah. Anyways. Trying to see it. Camera. Okay. Went ahead and sanded off all the marks. It's not showing up in the camera, but I put some yellow paint and then wiped it off so I could see the marks. Now I'm going to go ahead and fire this thing up and see where the timing was actually at on that. <laughs> on those runs we made the last three. Maybe. We might not find out anything. Uh. I have a strong feeling that this balancer might be spun. I mean, I don't know. The motor doesn't have a vibration or nothing, which a lot of times will happen when you spin these because the balancer is the weight. I really don't know, and I really don't want to buy a balancer for this because, like I was saying, if we're going to go 351, we can't use this balancer. Uh... And then if we end up getting a 351 and, it, you know, we get everything balanced in that and it's like a zero balance and we couldn't use this or the other. So we got to make do with what we got. We just got to get, it's got to get figured out. That's, that's where we're at. We got to figure this out. So we're going to figure it out right now. Watch and see if I fail. Yeah, so 
So when I go check, when we're over 2,000 RPM, we should be right at 30 degrees on the zero mark. Dead nuts, it's working. I'm gonna put the 150 shot pill in it like I wanted. I am going to back it back down to pull four degrees from 38 and we'll purge it real quick and see what happens. All right, the bottle is on. We're gonna go ahead and whack it and see what happens. this car so bad that the 11s felt so good going 1160 knowing that we were only on 100 horse and knowing that there's so much left in this combination and knowing that it's going to be even faster next year uh cannot wait eventually we'll get the cage certified. there just hasn't been another like open certification thing i'm sure i can get it done if i call some people but Technically, we're not even going fast enough to need the cage yet, so. So if you remember, I had an issue kind of setting fuel pressure at the track for the nitrous side right here. Uh, I was looking through everything. It says right around eight. Okay, they make a fancy tool to set this pressure, right? I was doing some research, and it turns out that the tool, oh, there's basically a gauge, you know, which I'm going to just use that gauge because that's what I have. Uh, and it runs through a 75 thousandths orifice. Well, that's what I made right there. And I made this. So it, it might work. If not, I don't know. It should, if I turn the fuel pump on, that should be at right about six flowing because you want flowing fuel pressure for nitrous. So we're going to fire it up right now, not the car, but the fuel pump, and see what we got. We are like right at 7, so I'm not even going to mess with it. I'm going to leave that alone. Looks like that works. I mean, <laughs> the guys running 500 horsepower kits might not do it like this, but that should be perfect. Right at 7, uh, I think that'll be plenty. I do need to get a gauge for that that I can run and put up here by my other one so that I could see if there is a crazy drop. But even if there was uh, a crazy drop in either of these, because my other one pulls, you know, they basically come out of the same. There's a Y, and then this is my nitrous side, and this is my fuel side. I know I need to get some covers and put over those. Uh, and this is where it pulls pressure for that gauge. So if I was to altogether lose fuel pressure, I know I look great without a hat, uh, it would show me on that gauge either way. So I'm going to run with that. It says we're at 7. I'm not even going to double guess it. I'm going to keep that little deal with me. I feel like that worked. That was cool.